Welcome to the data ingestion talk. My name is Bernard Pina. I'm an engineer of the Carla team. And we are going to see what, need to ex what we need to export from other software to be able to import into Carla. We will see two ways of doing that. The import, we, we can use the Docker and we can import from the source. Also, we will see how to reveal the pedestrian navigation file and also some limitations on future work. So, let's start with the introduction video where we can see we are using Roadrunner, for example, and we, are, we have defined a map with traffic lights and we want to import this exactly map into Carla on Real Editor, like now. We see all it's working, pedestrians, vehicles, and traffic lights are working fine. So, this is the general overflow. We can use any other software, but at the end we, ha we need to export the specific data that Carla can, can understand for the ingestion and the import. And we can use uh, two methods for import we will see right now but first we will we are going to see what we need to export mainly the idea is to export two files one is the film box file fbx with the geometry of the map and the other file is the open drive with the traffic network description of the map also we can use a json file it, this is optional but the important thing is that if we the, the name of the JSON file will be the name of the package that we need to know later on to export the, the package. So if we don't specify JSON file, one will be created automatically with the map package name. So this is important, as we will see later. This JSON file is like this. It's just a description of the maps, uh, the files. So for the map 1 we have the FBX and the open drive and for the map 2 we have the FBX and the open drive. We, we can define the folder where are they are but this is automatically created if no JSON file is, is given. So it's an optional. Option. So for the FBX file it's important to use a specific nomenclature. This is important for the pedestrian navigation to identify which are the areas where they can walk or cannot walk. So we have four main areas. The road, for example, all the geometry for the road need to start in one of these uh, nomenclature. Road road, road marking, road curve, or road water. For the sidewalk, we need to use the road sidewalk. Also for the crosswalk, the same with this nomenclature and the grass that is a secondary sidewalk also uh, needs to start with road grass. So let's see how we can import data into Carla. We have two ways of doing. One is using the docker file and also is using the source from the github. So, in function of the platform we are using, for Ubuntu we can choose one of the two, but for Windows we can only import using the source. But uh, importing this way we can do the same that do the Docker, so we are not limit limited. So let's start uh, see using the Docker. Okay. So to use the Docker, first we need to build the docker one and we have this information all the files requ required for build the docker are in carla util docker also we have some prerequisites like 600 gigabytes of free space ubuntu 16 as the minimum and also this version of docker python 3.7 and also the ue4 docker module for the python we will use this for building the, the docker and we have to follow these three steps first we need to download the unreal source we are using this command here we see the version of the unreal we want to use Sorry. 
then when we have the source of the Unreal we have a second step we use this command to compile to uh, prepare all the compilers and compile the Unreal Engine the prerequisites docker file is in this folder ready to use and the last step is download and compile Carla project using this command also the Carla docker file is, is here so with these three steps we have built the docker and it's ready to be used so now let's go to let's go to use docker to import we are going to use two folders one is the in folder where we are going to copy the FBX and OpenDrive files that we want to import and also the JSON if we are providing one also we are using another folder for output this folder will be the where docker will write the result and what we need to do is to go to the carla util docker folder and use the docker tools python script using these arguments the input with the input folder the output with the output folder we are using and also the package we want to export from the docker that is the this is the name of the json file that we are providing or if we don't provide json file then this name map package is the default one so we are going to use this one so at the end docker will write in the output folder we define the map package torval with all the imported uh, files that is this is the docker this is the process that the, the docker will use carla source it has the carla source internally then executes the make import to import the files and then the make package to make the package this is the package we will get from docker and now we can use a carla package that we have and import with the import assets script so let's see this process in a video okay let's see the video as we saw in the image we have the the carla docker built already we have the files to import in the in folder also the out folder is empty and now we are moving to the folder util docker and we are going to call the docker with the parameters we are going to use the docker tools python script with the input and output folders and also the name of the package that we want as a result now docker is executing making the make import then the make package and at the end we have in the out folder we are going to see we have the package that is the package that we can import it. now we are going to see what to do with this package in another video we have a we have a carla package with this version and what we need to do is to copy the package in the import folder and just call the import assets the import assets just uh, decompress the file so now we start the server and now we are going to load the new map with the config script using config and the name of the map map test in this case okay the map is ready we see we have the traffic lights working they are created in real time with the information of the open drive and now we can spawn some cars and some pedestrians there they go we have pedestrians walking and some vehicles driving around with the traffic lights working fine so that was working okay let's move now to the other method to import not using docker but using the carla solves project so it's simple 
but we we will see we have uh, we need to make an extra step so to import here we have the software we export our files that we need to import here we need to copy these files in the import folder of the Carla project and then just execute the make import this will cook all the files and will give us the map ready to load in Unreal Editor so the, the advantage of this is that we can use Unreal Editor to modify the map if we need but we need to recreate the binary file for the pedestrian navigation docker does this automatically but for the carla source we have to do it in a separated way so we are going to see now how to recreate the pedestrian navigation so this process basically what it does is with the geometry of the map that we have uh, we have imported in Unreal Editor, we can load the map as a new level, and then we can use the Carla exporter to export the geometry in OBJ file. Also, from the open drive of the map, we can parse the open drive and get all the crosswalks that could be defined from Roadrunner, for example. And finally, the final OBJ file will be the will be uh, parsed by Recast Builder an application with it also and we'll create we'll create the final binary file this binary file it's a description of the areas where the pedestrians can walk or not so the first step is to load the map the imported map in the unreal editor and then use the car exporter to create the obj of that map uh, the Carla exporter will will save the OBJ file in the Carla Unreal Carla Uequa for saved, and then we have to copy that OBJ and the Open Drive in this folder Carla Util Docker Utils this because here we have some scripts that we only need to call once and all will be generated. the The Open Drive is needed only uh, if we have some crosswalks defined, but if not we can free we, we are free to not copy but doesn't matter really and this is the second step that we need to build uh, to call this script the build or build uh, in linux uh, with the name of the map with of the, the extension so this script will be able to find the map test open drive map test fbx obj or whatever the this this script will do these these steps here basically if we have the autodesk fvx sdk installed and the and this application is uh, compiled that we provide this as source then uh, we'll try to convert the fvx to obj but because we use the carl exporter and we have the map in obj file uh, format uh, this uh, step is skyped so uh, we don't need to install this library so the open drive will be an uh, parsed by this script uh, to find all the crosswalks we'll generate obj with the, all the crosswalks with this script we merge both objs in only one that will be used for by recast builder to generate the binary file so at the end this binary file we need to copy to the nav navigation folder of the map and that's it so let's see in a video all this process we have the files we want to import we copy in the import of the Carla project there is no JSON file there and now we have to to make an import now it's in importing in Unreal Editor these files we will see in the import folder that uh, a new JSON is there it's automatically created with that name, map package ok, we have all the files imported now we need to to launch editor
Okay, and now we are ready to load the map, the important map. It's in the map package, inside the maps, map test. This is our map, we load. Okay, there it is. And now we need to export in OBJ format using the Carl exporter. The Carl exported is in the file menu at the bottom. This will export all the geometry in the saved folder. So now we are going to find the OBJ and we need to copy to the other folder. Here is the file. We are going to make a temporal copy here. And now we are going to move to the utils docker utils docker utils dist and we need to copy here the obj and the open drive file okay and now we can call the build script with the name of the map and it will generate the binary file for us okay there it is so now we have the map test dot pin this is the file we need to copy inside the navigation folder of the map so we are going to move to the folder where is the map map package the package inside maps map test and here in the nav folder this is the original one and this is the new one that is bigger and we replace ok, now we are ready to run the simulation and we will see the traffic lights will be created at real time with the open drive information and now we can spawn some vehicles and pedestrians to see that they work Okay. All is working perfect. We have the pedestrians walking and crossing the roads and the vehicles. So so let's move now to the limitations and future work. The cooking process could file with huge maps. So we he we need to check that with a very huge map. And also for the sign ingestion, we, we need to find a way to identify when a traffic light comes from the geometry, from the FBX file, to remove them. Because we create the traffic lights and other traffic signs from the open drive information. And we don't, we don't want duplications. Also the, the signs that are created from the open drive right now don't have collisions for the pedestrians because they are created at real, uh, real time so they are not in the binary file but we, we need to fix that and also we saw some problems with the FBX importer that uses Unreal uh, with some alpha channels and models with a scale it's, it has some trouble and that's it thank you very much for watching